Hi, my name is Rachel Metz. I'm a technology writer at the Associated Press, and this week I reviewed the new iPod Nano from Apple and Microsoft's new Zune. Both these products are currently available. The coolest thing about the new Nano is it comes with a video camera, so you can take videos whenever you want. Um, if you're listening to music and you happen to see something cool, you can just shoot a quick video of it, and there are some cool special effects as well. It's not the best quality video that you would take, but it's pretty fun and it's very easy. Another cool feature on the Nano is a built-in speaker. You won't notice it at first because there's no visible speaker grill, but if you turn on some music and you don't have headphones plugged in, you'll notice that the Nano is indeed making sounds. And it's not that loud and it's not that great, but it is really cool to have that option to listen to music aloud. Another thing I really liked was the inclusion of an FM radio on the Nano. It also has this cool live pause feature that you can use so if you are interrupted by a phone call or something like that, you can stop listening to the radio and then come back, it'll store some content and, and you can scroll through that and listen to it later on. Microsoft's latest Zune isn't as impressive, but it definitely has a lot of improvements over the last one. One of them is a really cool touch screen that's really responsive to finger taps and swipes, and it also has a multi-touch function, so like on the iPod Touch, you can pinch photos to zoom in and out of them, which is pretty fun. Microsoft also added a web browser to the Zune, um, which is something I've been waiting for for a while. The Zune has always had wireless features on it, but Microsoft has been slowly, slowly rolling out uh, enhancements to this. This latest Zune is called the Zune HD, and as that name implies, there are some HD functions. You can download movies, um, high-definition movies, from the Zune marketplace. And you can't play them back on the Zune in high definition, but if you buy a dock for 90 bucks, you can watch them on a high definition TV in 720p resolution. It also has HD radio, which is kind of cool if you want to have another clearer option for listening to the radio. 